Transport Safety Management Evaluation. Authorized by the Ministry of Land, Infrastructure, Transport and Tourism, NASVA's Transport Safety Management Evaluation confirms whether the safety management systems established and implemented by transport businesses are effective and offers advice related to it. More specifically, NASVA evaluators interview the top executives and those in management. The interviews are in line with the Ministry of Land, Infrastructure, Transport and Tourism's 14 guideline clauses regarding how transport businesses should proceed with safety management. We also examine documents, records and other materials and this allows us to provide detailed advice. A report containing the evaluation results and details is presented to the transport business. Businesses that have undergone NASPA's Transport Safety Management Evaluation can use the report to reinforce their policies and prevent accidents. We will now introduce the general flow of NASPA's Transport Safety Management Evaluation with a short play. This is the basic schedule of the Transport Safety Management Evaluation process. The two-day evaluation is held approximately two months after an application has been received. Let's take a look at the opening meeting that is held on day one. Thank you, Mr. Tozai and everyone from management for attending today's Transport Safety Management Evaluation. I would like to begin by introducing my team. This is Mr. Takayama. Hello, nice to meet you. And Ms. Matsumoto. Nice to meet you. And I'm the evaluation team leader, Yasuoka. We look forward to working with you. Here is a simple explanation regarding the objective of this evaluation. Moving along to the schedule, we will hold an interview with Mr. Tozai, the company president, from 10.20 to 11 a.m., after which we will interview Mr. Saito, the safety manager. We will then take a one-hour break and interview Executive Safety Manager Ms. Oda from 1 p.m. The opening meeting that is held on day one begins with the evaluator's self-introduction, followed by a review of the schedule for the next two days, and an explanation regarding the objective of the Transport Safety Management Evaluation. After the opening meeting is the interview with the top executive. We will now begin our interview with Mr. Tozai, the company president. It's my pleasure. Mr. Tozai, could you please tell us what your thoughts and policies are regarding transport safety? Let me see. While creating profit is a priority, there will be no profit without safety. This is why we are working to implement various safety policies. I see. The interview with the top executive generally centers around their corporate philosophy, ideals, and responsibilities as the top executive. We will now watch the safety manager interview. Here, the focus is on the system that the company created based on the 14 clauses listed in the MLIT's guidelines, its plans, implementation, the study of the results, and any subsequent adjustments. Called the PDCA cycle, it is what the interview is based on. We will now begin our interview with Safety Manager Saito. Thank you for your time. It's my pleasure. 
You listed a greater focus on education and training as a safety priority measure. How exactly are you going about this? Well, for one, we create a yearly plan regarding the study sessions and their content. We then carry out the plan. I see. How do you stay abreast of the situation and the session's progress? I'm notified of when each location is holding their study session. That's how I follow their progress. Okay. And how do you assess their effectiveness? We hold comprehensive tests and also have the participants fill in questionnaires. Based on the results, what improvements have you made? Although comprehension is improving, it's hard to assess how the studies are being applied in the field. In the questionnaires, there were requests for on-the-job training, so we are planning to incorporate it from next year. What did you think? We've just seen how an interview of a safety manager was carried out based on the PDCA cycle. Preparing safety measures is one of the basics of the transport business and is an area that needs constant improvement with the PDCA cycle. After the interviews, the evaluators inspect various things, including documents, records, and business offices. This concludes Day 1. On Day 2 is the closing meeting, where the team leader explains the evaluation results. Now please have a look at the evaluation report. In this evaluation, we focused on two areas. The first is how aware top management is of the current issues and is proactively involved in resolving them. The second is the education and training of the drivers. In the advisory column is some advice on how to design an internal audit structure so that you can assess its effectiveness. We've also included advice on how the company's safety management system can be improved. We hope you will refer to it at your meetings. Now if you will take a look at the next page. Next, we have an actual interview with business owners who received a transport safety management evaluation from NASVA. NASVA's assessment of our company included some advice about the urgent need to improve and to create a precise internal audit system. Since the audit is conducted by our own company employees, I think all employees are being more careful about their actions. Up until now, employees would only judge their own behavior, and they did things the way that they've always done them. Now with the internal audit system, they have other employees to inspect their behavior, and I think it makes a big difference. Having a third party inspect our company helped to reveal some of our faults. Now we are thinking about concrete solutions to problems, especially focusing on management. I think the establishment of an audit system was a big step forward for our company. Lack of communication with our drivers was one cause of concern for us. We decided to start a new program called the AZC Campaign, the Accident Zero Challenge Campaign. NASVA's suggestion was to divide our 50 drivers into four teams and have them compete in the categories of safe driving and zero accidents. This increased the communication between drivers and between drivers and management. I feel that the level of awareness about safety has also increased. Our drivers are professionals, and they take pride in their driving skills. They show deep concern when a co-worker is involved in an accident. By having them think about that, I think the realization that an accident is a frightening thing has taken root in their minds. <laughs> 